Hi, Leslie. How are you today? Good, Barbara. How are you? Good. We're here at the Michener Museum today to look at two paintings about life in Bucks County from 100 years ago. So we're going to be using our imagination to see stories in the paintings. Are you ready to look at one of the first paintings? I am. I'm excited. This is OK. Neat. We have one painting that I picked and one painting that you pick, Leslie. So we'll look at them together, and then we'll compare. And you can see on the screen, we're, we're seeing the museum in front of us. So let's go inside the museum in our imagination and look at the first painting by Roy Noose. This is one of my favorite paintings to share with children, Leslie. Oh, here it is. So this is a painting from 100 years ago. And what's the first thing that you notice when you see it? Like, what's going on? What do you see? Well, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of kids who look like they might be related. Mm -hmm. And what makes you think that they're related, Leslie? You happen to be right, but what made you say that? Um, they're all blonde haired and they just kind of look similar. They have similar facial features and you know, they're kind of working together. I don't know, I get the sense that they're brothers. Okay, well, in my family, we actually don't look all alike, but in this picture, the children the boys do look similar in many ways. The, the artist, Roy Noose, had a big family. He had six children. And wow. these happened, he loved painting his children. That was one of the things that he liked to paint. And what you picked up on is that the boys kind of do look alike in how they're dressed. They're all wearing the same color. What color is that? Blue, that was another thing that I noticed right away is that brilliant blue color. Right. His wife used to make their clothes from hand-me-down clothes. And so it kind of makes sense that they're wearing things that are similar. What does it seem like they're doing? Well, I keep focusing on that wheel. So I don't, I, I mean, I, I feel like they want to make something that's going to move. I don't know if it's going to be a cart or um, a scooter of some sort or I just feel like they want to go somewhere. Right. It does seem like they're surrounded with this kind of like wheel that they've gotten from something and, and they're making something. And it, it does seem to me like they're making something that's going to move too, almost like it's spinning. And wow, it's so cool because it seems like something they invented to me. What do you think? It does. It, it, I mean, I don't see any drawings or anything like that, but it really looks like they have a goal and that they've really, you know, they have a, a, a vision or something in mind that they've invented and they're hoping to make it work. They're really creative. The painting's called Age of Speed. And when you just mentioned that the wheel looks like it's moving, it kind of, you know, that makes sense with the name of the painting, Age of Speed. I'm wondering where they are. I know that the Noose family lived in Bucks County and I know they lived on a farm. Where do you think this might be? Well, that building behind them, it's making me think of a barn because the door, the wooden door, it's, it's wide, which is what I imagine a barn door would be like. And I see a lot of what looks like straw or hay on the ground. And then in the background, I see wheels that might go with a wagon or, you know, something that I would imagine you would keep in a barn. Wow. It seems to me like they're putting this, I don't know, this whether you call this like a cart or a wagon, whatever it's called, it seems like they're inventing it and they went into the barn and maybe they got their materials and they found them in the barn. What do you think of that? I think that's probably the case. And you told me that Mrs. News made their clothes. So that mm -hmm. makes me think that maybe they didn't have a lot of money to go running down to the store and buy all their supplies. Right. So I think they're being really creative with what they can find. Right. Yeah, I know they lived really frugally, you know, very simply, and that Mr. News, the artist, never even wanted to own a, a car. They just lived simply out in Bucks County. That's how a lot of the artists lived long ago, 100 years ago. Um, there's somebody else in the picture that I think we should notice too. Do you see anybody else besides the brothers? I do. I see a little girl 
holding a cat and she doesn't look very happy to me. No, uh, why do you say that? She just looks like she's looking down at the ground and her, her expression is almost sad or even pouty. Um, and I get the feeling that she feels left out. It's interesting how different people see the painting differently. I always think maybe she's just in a thoughtful mood and I, I've always admired how she's taking such good care of the cat. You know, she's so nurturing. Um, but yeah, maybe she wants to jump in and help the boys too. I mean, we all interpret things differently, right? We do, we do. Mm -hmm. Maybe she's just shy. Right. Um, um, what time of year do you think it is? What season? Oh, I think it's summer because they're all barefoot and they're wearing yeah. shirts and they right. have short sleeve shirts. So it must be warm. Mm -hmm. And I see a lot of sun uh, kind of hitting them. It seems like there's a lot of shadow in the barn where it's darker, but doesn't it seem like the boys and the girl have like a lot of sunshine on their faces? They do. They really do. Maybe even sunburn. <laughs> right, right. And um, I don't know, anything else that you notice that you want to share right now? Um, I see a lot of, of texture in the in the wood and mm -hmm. the the wheel that um, the artist has somehow made look like it's spinning and the ground looks like as I said you know rough and I can almost feel the dirt and the grass um, and there's one little boy who's seated and he has his arms crossed and he looks like he's thinking so I'm wondering if he's coming up with maybe something else to add to the project, you know? Oh, that's a cool idea. I mean, I'd love to jump in and, and be in this painting and helping them out. I just think it looks like so much fun what they're doing. Um, I feel like I can hear it. I feel like yeah. I can hear the wheel. I can hear, you know, them kind of talking about do this or do that. And, I love that. Yes, like you could almost imagine their conversation as they're planning things, right? Absolutely. That's great. That's great. Um, one other thing I wanted to share is that the family, the Noose children, when they grew up, they gave this painting to the museum. They considered it to be uh, one of their father's masterpieces, and they wanted the Mitchner Museum to have this painting so that more people could see it. Um, and I just thought that was so generous of them. I'm glad they did that. Mm -hmm. And then I, another neat piece of information that I, I learned was that Mr. Noose used a cereal box cardboard with old window shades to make his art on oftentimes. So he was, remember I said he was frugal? So imagine using a cereal box and then old window shades. And it makes me think that he was like, you know, very creative in the same way that children are here because they're using found materials too, right? Yes, it sounds like creativity is in that family. Yeah, and then one other thing is that he painted outside. We know that's called plein air painting. So he actually, the painter himself, their father, was outside with his paints and his canvas, painting them to capture this everyday, wonderful scene of their life. So it's one of my favorite paintings at the museum. I hope you get to. I hope people get to see it sometime when they visit. It's a great painting. So should we move on and see your painting? Sure. Choose? Okay. So Barbara, this is my painting and it was painted also about a hundred years ago. And just like your painting, it was donated to the museum. But we don't know who painted this and we don't know who donated it to the museum. It's all sort of a bit of a mystery there. Wow. It's a really nice painting though. I really enjoy it. What's the first thing that, you, that grabs your attention when you look at this? Well, there's so much to see, isn't there? Um, I think what grabs my attention is that lady who seems to be on a bicycle. That kind of reminds me the wheels of the news painting we just looked at. It does, um, it does, yeah. Right? And yeah. I don't know, what is she doing? It seems like she has something in her hand and I just think that's a really kind of funny, fun part of the image. It is. It gives the, the painting a lot of energy and movement. And there is a movement elsewhere, but that really does draw your eye. I agree. Right. I that, can't tell if she's holding like an envelope or a handkerchief. 
anybody's guess. <laughs> I'll interpret it differently. Right. But right. she does give us a clue that we're not looking at a scene from, from present day. Right. It really looks old fashioned, doesn't it? It does. Is there anything else that gives you a clue? Well, I think that cart in the very foreground of the painting, um, where it looks like somebody's in some kind of carriage cart, that also has wheels, right? And the horse is like, it's like a horse and buggy kind of cart. Yeah. So that looks really old fashioned because today we'd see a car. Yeah, I agree. Do you think it's telling us a story? Hmm. So we had a story in the past, the other painting, right, about the children. Here it seems like a story about a lot of people doing a lot of stuff. Also, is it a farm, Leslie? I think there's a farm. Um, it looks like it is. It mm -hmm. looks like there are people working in the field and that there's, you know, a, a farm and a couple of houses. I agree. Right? I see so many animals. I mean, there's a horse, there's cows. Are those pigs all the way in the back? They look so uh -huh. delightful, the way they're kind of dancing almost. I know, I was gonna say, they almost look like they're dancing. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> so do you get a feeling from this painting? I do, I get, I get a feeling of a lot of happy busyness. Like, again, I just wanna go inside this painting and kind of participate in the activities. I do, I agree with you, it's very, very active. Do you see any shapes or colors or textures that jump out at you? I'm seeing a lot of green, just a lot. And I also, the fields kind of seem like they're squares and rectangles, the way those fields are laid out. And also there's a lot of rectangles in the buildings. I know, once I started noticing the squares and the rectangles, I could really see them all right. over the place. And, the and triangles triangles and then the circles and the wheels right a lot of a lot of interesting shapes there right there's a lot of energy as you said where do you think the artist who painted this is situated like where are they standing wow well i know when we were looking at the noose children i felt kind of close to them right but here i feel like i'm pretty far back looking at a whole much bigger scene what do you think, Leslie? I think it's almost like he's up in the air looking down. Mm, that's cool. Artists call that bird's eye perspective, which really makes a lot of sense to me because it's almost like a bird flying over it and what the bird would see when he was looking down. Right, and he would see so much. I agree, and mm. it's a big, wide, you know, expanse there. So this painting is called A View of Alms House. And Alms House actually has two meanings here. The first is that the road is actually Alms House Road and it exists in Bucks County. And this shows the junction of Route 611 and Alms House Road in Warrington. But most of the fields and the buildings no longer exist. So you could ask your parents to drive you out there, but you're not gonna see something that looks like this. Hmm. The other meaning of Alms House is the large brown building that's it towards the back and to the right of the road is what they called an Alms House. And it was a place for families who had fallen on hard times and needed a little bit of help. And it's where they could stay until they could get back on their feet. An interesting story is our very own James Missioner, for whom our, our museum is named, stayed in that very almshouse a couple of times. His mom once in a while would have some financial difficulties and she and he would stay in the almshouse until they got back on their feet. And his aunt and uncle were the people who ran the almshouse. I bet he heard a lot of stories. And then later, you know, he became such a famous writer. He did. So that must have been great for him. When this was donated to the museum, he right away recognized that alms house. Oh, that's great. Pretty interesting, huh? Mm -hmm. oh, I need you to use your imagination, Barbara. I yeah. want you to imagine stepping into this painting and walking down that road. Mm -hmm. What do you think you would hear? Oh, I think I'd hear the children's voices playing because there seemed to be some children behind the woman on the bike. 
I think I'd hear the animals, you know, like old McDonald's farm kind of animal sounds, right? <laughs> Little E-I-E-I-O, huh? Right. Did you say anything to the woman on the bike or to the, to the children? I think I'd ask the children if I could play with them. And do you think they would let you? I do think so. How about you, Leslie? What would you, what would you do? I just get such a good feeling from everybody here. Yeah. What time of year? Are we in the same time of year, do you think, as we were in the news painting? Hmm. I'm guessing so, although I'm not quite sure if it's spring or summer. What do you think? Well, it looks like there's a lot of growing going on here. So mm -hmm. maybe summer. Right. We don't right. have I, do, I, yeah, I wonder what they were planting in those fields. It would be interesting to do some research to find out like what kinds of things grew in the farms in Bucks County. It would. Pretty interesting. So Barbara, this is pretty nice. Do you think maybe we could compare our two paintings and see? Oh, sure. That would be really interesting to do. Wow. Well, the first thing I notice is they're both about Bucks County. Yes. And they're both from long ago. They are. I agree. I'm thinking they're both about gr groups of people. One's the small group, the new children, but they're people that are busy, that they're really active. And they both have kids. Yeah. They're both outside. Right. Right. And, you know, wheels. I do see wheels in both of them, shapes. Mm -hmm. Really vibrant colors, but they're different colors. Mm -hmm. The new children have a lot of blue in that painting. There's even some blue in the barn that you see. Um, there's a lot of dabs of blue throughout the painting I called agree. Age of Speed with the children. Whereas in the almshouse painting, there's a lot of green. Mm -hmm. But that makes sense because we're out you know, on a farm. So that makes a lot of sense. And then I realized that Age of Speed only has one animal, the little cat in the girl's arms. And view of Om's house, wow. I mean, so many animals, right? I, I agree. And they're both outdoors, mm -hmm. sunny days here. A lot of similarity there. But right. yours is more realistic, I think. The news painting was more realistic. And mine was a little more maybe folk art, more like not sure exactly real, maybe just sort of a happy painting of the scene. Yeah, I think that they're just both such enjoyable paintings. And I know I've shown both paintings to children when I've been in the museum. And I hope kids can come again and see them in person. I do too. Barbara, this has been great talking to you. I've really <laughs> enjoyed it. And one last thing I always think about is that you know, children could think about how they're like the people in these paintings from long ago, but they could also imagine if someone was going to paint a picture of them today at home, you know, what would they be doing? What would children today be doing that we could see a hundred years ago? I mean, a hundred years in the future. And That's then a good idea. I wonder right? what kind of materials you could use to do right. that. And what would it say about our lives in a hundred years? Oh, that would be neat. Yeah, it's so much fun to really just look at the paintings um, with you today. I agree. I can't wait until we can go to the museum and look at some more. Yes. So if you would like to know more about these paintings or any of the other art materials at the Missioner, you can check it, these two websites. One is the Missioner's Bucks County Artist Database, or you can go to Learn with the Missioner. Thanks, Barbara. This has been wonderful. Uh, see you later, Leslie. Bye-bye. At, at the museum. At the museum. Can't wait.